Welcome to this video presentation in Digitalizing Stockholm event. My name is uh, Carla uh, and I'm giving this presentation on behalf of my colleague Zara, who is the principal investigator of this project entitled Optimization of Agricultural Management for Soil Carbon Sequestration Using Deep Reinforcement Learning and Large Scale Simulations. Uh, this project is funded by Digital Futures through the Digital Transformation and Artificial Intelligence for Energy and Climate Security Second Call. The project has been developed over the last 12 months by Professor Zara Kalantari and myself from KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm um, and colleagues from uh, the University of Illinois uh, at Urbana-Champaign from United States, from both the Department of Mechanical Science and Engineering and the Department of Crop Sciences. The idea of this project was triggered by the increasing demand for food and the major global challenge of feeding more than 9 billion people by 2050. This challenge is exacerbated by global warming, which is already having impacts on current agricultural systems. But agricultural land can be also part of the solution to climate change, given the ability of the soil to sequester carbon from the atmosphere. However, it is still challenging to find optimal agricultural management practices that can maximize crop yields and farmers' income while protecting the environment. To better provide optimal management policies, including, for example, when uh, and how much to fertilize, uh, given a particular condition, which may be uh, the climate settings or the management costs, and uh, given a target, such as the maximum economic profit, we assume that agricultural management can be seen as a sequential decision-making problem. Since reinforcement learning has already demonstrated an extraordinary ability in solving tasks involving uh, sequential decision making in robotics and games, we see, the, we see a great potential of reinforcement learning in optimizing crop management, including optimizing carbon storage and crop yields. To maximize crop yields and mitigate climate change, uh, this project aims to enhance soil carbon sequestration in croplands by developing an intelligent agricultural management system using deep reinforcement learning and large-scale soil and crop simulations, and to support policy by improving sequential decision-making regarding best agricultural management practices. To achieve these aims, we use an intelligent crop management system that generates deployable and adaptable management policies based on reinforcement learning, imitation learning, and crop simulations via DSAT model, which simulates the crop and soil conditions under different management practices. We first use deep reinforcement learning, in particular deep key network, to train management policies that require all state information from the simulator as observations, denoted here as full uh, observation. We then invoke uh, imitation learning to train management policies that only need a limited amount of state information, which can be uh, readily available in real world, uh, like, for example, rain, temperature, or plant growth stage. This limited state information is denoted as partial observation. The imitation learning training is performed by mimicking the actions of the previously reinforcement learning trained policies and under full uh, observation. The, limit, the imitation learning trained policies can be uh, deployed in real world since the policy only requires observable states from the environment. The performance of this framework is validated with a case study of maize crop in Florida. The reinforcement learning based policy training was investigated using different reward functions representing different trade-offs among crop yield. The reward function, in general, represents the goal that the agent tries to maximize during training. In our case, we have defined the reward function as a weighted sum of core yield, nitrogen fertilizer input, uh, irrigation water input, and nitrate leaching. We have five different reward function designs in total. 
reward function one represents the economic profit that farmers earn per hectare. Reward function from two to four represent different uh, situation on the price. For example, reward function two uh, represents the extreme case that irrigation water is free. Uh, in reward function five, uh, we include uh, env an environmental factor, which is the nitrate leaching. The results of each trained policy are listed in the bottom table, uh, where we can see that the reward function design affects the, the strategy of the trained policy. For example, with reward function two, uh, which indicates no cost for irrigation water, the trained policy decides to apply much more water than the other policies, which leads to a much higher yield and the largest cumulative reward. To validate the proposed framework, we compare the results of all the trained policies with that of a baseline policy following a corn production guide for farmers in Florida. The evaluation results of each trained policy um, with different reward function design are listed in this table. Trained policy five achieves the largest cumulative reward and it is calculated with the reward functions one, three, four and five, which may be attributed to the stochasticity uh, in the training process and the benefit of penalizing nitrate leaching through uh, the reward uh, in helping the, um, the reinforcement learning agent in finding an optimal or near optimal policy. The results also show that um, our framework always finds management policies with higher reward function than the baseline. With imitation learning, the policies were trained by imitating the actions determined by the experts, which are the previously reinforcement learning trained policies under full observation. We run the simulations with the expert policies to create the demonstrations and store the generated pairs of observations and actions. We conducted two experiments with uh, imitation learning, one using trained policy one as the expert and the other with trained policy five. The results are shown in this table and demonstrate that the imitation learning trained policies achieve similar results compared to those from reinforcement learning trained policies. Uh, it also shows that the imitation learning trained policies and their partial observation achieved higher cumulative rewards compared to the baseline policy with both reward functions one and five. We can also see that the actions determined by imitation learning policies uh, are much better than the baseline method. These figures show the application history of both nitrogen fertilization and irrigation following the reinforcement learning trained policy five and its corresponding imitation learning trained policy. Here we can see that both imitation learning trained policies and their partial observation have extremely similar decisions compared with the reinforcement learning trained policies and their full observations. To conclude, we present a framework for finding the optimal management policy with deep reinforcement learning, imitation learning, and crop simulations based on the SAT model. And their partial observation with access to a limited number of states from the DSAT that are uh, observable or measurable in the real world, imitation learning is used to train the management policy that can be deployed in real world. Our proposed framework adapts to different scenarios given variations in potential reward functions. The imitation learning policies trained by mimicking the behavior of the, um, the RL trained policies and their full observation have extremely similar actions with the reinforcement learning trained policies. All trained policies under both full and partial observation achieve better results compared to the production guideline for the maize crop uh, in Florida. Thank you for uh, listening this video presentation. And if you have any question or want to discuss the topic, please contact us through the email previously shown on the slides. Thank you very much.